Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 22 of the FIFA 20 My Player Career and we are almost in the final running of the season. We're at the end of March so just a few games remaining before we do obviously head back to Ajax in the Netherlands. Uh, we're hoping to finish the season off strong with Galatasaray. Of course we are still continuing to try and chase Fenerbahce at the top of the Turkish Super League. Uh, but before that, we do have an international break. As you can see, we are taking on Portugal in the World Cup qualifiers. So it's going to be a big game, this one. I think we are currently top of our group stage. So if we can get three points here against the Portuguese, that will give us a good advantage going into the next games of this competition as well. Uh, it's not going to be easy, though. Obviously, Portugal have some top, top players. Uh, I'm not sure if Cristiano Ronaldo is in their side anymore. Uh, but no doubt, Zhao Felix will be in there, so we'll have to wait and see what we can do. And here is Kai picking up that ball. A little bit of luck going his way, plays it out wide, looking to um, drop a little bit deeper. There is a shot, I think that took a deflection off the defender. And I don't think it was a goalkeeper. Let's have a look at the replay, headed, and yeah, it did hit the head of the defender there. So 11 minutes gone, it is still Portugal nil, France nil in this World Cup qualifier. And who is going to be breaking the deadlock? Oh, Kai is only a young French midfielder. Um, I don't think he's going to see out the full 90 minutes in this game, if I'm totally honest. Um, because he is feeling a little bit fatigued. He's played a lot of games so far this season. And with his stamina and all the other attributes, he's still got a long way to go before he is playing um, every game um, week in, week out. Especially at the, the top clubs of which he has played for so far. Um, we will be looking for a move towards the Premier League, I think, in the summer. Uh, I did touch on it in the last episode, thinking about whether to stay at Ajax for the next season or to move elsewhere. And I think we are getting ever closer to deciding to move towards, hopefully, the Premier League. Obviously, we've got to wait for the offers to come in. We might not even get an offer from a club in the Premiership. So we'll have to wait and see on that as well. It will do depend on that, as well as all the other offers which do come in as well so let's just continue on here and try and get the win here it is approaching half time we've got two minutes of added time played in this first period it is still goalless uh, which is a bit of a shame I was hoping to get ourselves through here with a goal at least and a good little play there from Paul Pogba overruns it though and Portugal have the last touch of the first half so half time Portugal nil France nil and I believe that is going to be the last action of Kai in this game because the manager has decided to make a change at half time. So that is the end of the game for Kai. It gives him a little bit of energy going into the next one. As you can see, we are up against Bulgaria. Again, another World Cup qualifier. Uh, a little bit fresher because he did miss out on that second half of that Portugal game. So let's see how Kai gets on in this one. Fingers crossed we can... Um, have a little bit more of an impact than we did against Portugal. Here he is right now. Nice little bit of skill there. Looks a bit fresher, doesn't he, already? Uh, but he needs to get in amongst the goals or the assists. He's had a couple of touches already. He's up to a 6.1 match rating. Uh, not sure what he's thinking. He's going to play this one in the middle. He does. Here is Paul Pogba then. Still at Manchester United, I believe, Paul Pogba. And we're giving that one away. So 25 minutes played. Still no goals to speak of. As the chance is going to come through. Not sure why he tried to play that one through there for Kai. He wasn't really free to play it through. So not sure what he was thinking there. Uh, but 4.4 rating for Kai so far. Not the best of weeks with France um, for Kai. So he needs to improve. Here he is. Gets past his man. Lays it off there for Pogba. The shot comes in. Hits the woodwork. Almost fell there to Kai. But Bulgaria are going to get this ball clear. But well, what an effort that was from Paul Pogba. If that one had flown into the back of the net, it would have been absolutely superb. Uh, but as you can see there, into the 55th minute. And we're looking to get this one on target. If Kai can swing it back in, which he does. The Bulgarian defence are heading it away. At least we made over the half-time time than we did in that Portuguese game. Uh, shot comes in. The rebound. Oh, blocked there by the defender. Yet again, great defensive work from the Bulgarians and it is going to go out of play here for a throw. Uh, but we're not going to see that throw because Kai has been replaced. I think that's Dembele coming on in his place. Just over half an hour to play. Hopefully France went on and got the job done. So next up, back to some domestic action then for Galatasaray and for the French midfielder Kai. 
hopefully we can put in better performance for our club team than we did for our national team. Uh, we do need the win of course, three points really really needed because um, we really need to try and catch up with Fenerbahce and now the games are running out. So a lot of work to do for Galatasaray, we cannot afford to drop any points whatsoever. Um, from now until the end of the season as that shot comes in and that was looping over after taking a deflection it might have found its way into the top corner uh, but three minutes gone Galatasaray with an early corner it does go towards Kai but the defender was there first Galatasaray do have the next effort and that was on target yet again but the goalkeeper there in the right place at the right time keeping it out 0-0 it is then first five minutes jumping into the 13th minute and it is the home team yet again on the defensive side here. Kai's going to slide in there and he takes down the player. Missed the ball completely. It's going to be a book in here for Kai. Um, but with 14 minutes gone, oh, he's been sent off. I was not expecting him to get a red card. If you remember, he got a red card a couple of episodes ago. But 14 minutes gone and he has been given a straight red card. So that is not good. Uh, but the result is, thankfully, we do go on and win. One goal to nil, as you can see there on the right side of your screen. Uh, we will be missing the next game as well against Denizli. Uh, so fingers crossed our teammates can go out there and don't let us down. We really can't afford to be dropping any more points here. Come on, let's get the win. Should be the favourites. And we do put in a convincing victory, getting a three-goal win. And that means that Kai is back in the starting 11 into his 42nd game of the season. And hopefully he doesn't get a red card in this one. I believe this is going to be the final game in today's episode as well. So that's four games we've covered in today's video. Obviously, we did get substituted early on in two of those and sent off even earlier in that last one. So fingers crossed we can end on a bit of a high. Hopefully get Kai in on the goals as well as he goes through there with a little bit of skill didn't quite work out for him and now the home team are the ones on the attack on this near side three minutes gone Kai on a 5.5 rating obviously by the time that this game finishes we want to see that in these eights sevens at the very least hopefully um, get him into the nines possibly even a 10 if he does get a hat trick but I don't see that happening he needs to keep this one in if he can he does but he's just not going to get there in the end which is a bit of a shame Good ball over the top and maybe a chance here. Kai's still trying to scramble for that ball. It didn't work out for him again. So onwards we go then. Approaching the half hour mark. Still waiting for the first goal in today's um, game. And can we get there? That one's nicely played through. Is Kai going to get there? The defender misses it one on one with a keeper. And is it the woodwork? How on earth did he not bury that one? That should have been the first goal of today's game. But it wasn't to be there. Should have buried that one shouldn't he he needs to improve he's up to a six rating and he's asked for that one back he didn't get it but he does get this one he gets past his marker i thought he was going to lay inside there he decides to pull it back finds his teammate shot comes in and it does go wide of the home goal so we're looking a little bit more uh, creative going forward we're having more chances than we've had as of late a nice bit of skill there from Kai turns but loses possession and now the home team are on the counter attack cross comes in defender misses it somehow and it is laid off there just outside the six yard box for a turning volley and that one does find the back of the net the Galatasaray defenders absolutely shocking there poor positioning really not awake to the fact that they were going through there look at that where is the marker nobody on him whatsoever it was a good finish in the end and now Galatasaray have some work to do. Blanco Leshuk is the one who buries his ninth goal of the season away in the Super League. And we are approaching half time then. Three and a half minutes to play in this first period. If we can get a goal before the break, that would be superb. And then we've got something to fight for in that second half. Uh, but right now, or I was going to say right now, it's their home team in um, possession. But they give it away straight to Kai, who lays it off to his teammate Falcao. And he does find the back of the net and we do tie things up then just before the break it is now one apiece and as I said that was a per perfect time for us to um, go ahead and get the goal not sure what the player was thinking there but good control from Kai and boom Falcao will not miss from there and it is here's what how many is that for the season for Falcao then that's his 11th Super League goal of the season 1-1 the score 
Now we can hopefully press on and get ourselves in front for the first time in today's game. Uh, we've got plenty of time in the second half, as, as you know. Uh, but can we go in front at the end of this first half? The shot comes in, two shots there. Good positional play there from the defender and the goalkeeper. Maybe one last effort here for Galatasaray. That one's played through and we do find the back of the net. 30 seconds remaining in this first half and we have finally gone in front for the first time in this match. Two goals to one and now, just trailing a few minutes ago, we find ourselves 2-1 in front. We've got um, to concentrate then in that second period. Yunus Belhander it was who gave um, Galatasaray the lead. And we just need to do some defensive work here as well. Here is Kai, picks up that loose ball. Good clearance from the defenders. Four minutes into the second half. Leading by two goals to one. And Kai is running all the way forward here on this near side. Loses it. And he's actually taken down there. Referee waves play on though. And the home team are going to get this ball forward. Or are they? Kai gets it back after a nicely um, placed foot there by his teammate. That one's hit the woodwork. And Kai... Lays it back in the middle and edge of the six-yard box. And there is the third goal of today's match for Galatasaray. Three goals to one we lead. And that should really be the three points as well wrapped up here for the away team. Kai with another assist. He has been the assist king so far this season for Galatasaray. And they are not happy, are they? The home team, after leading by one goal to nil at the end of the first half, and we fought back to go in that half time two goals to one up and now there is Berardi one of the new signings of course scoring his second league goal of the season time running out then for the home team if they're going to get anything out of this game I can't see it happening and hopefully we can push on and try and get ourselves another goal ball given away Galatasaray on the attack space on this far side and he's found what's he going to do he cuts inside here is Kai lays it off again and that is another assist from Kai 8.7 match rating then for the French winger and it is Diagne who gets himself his first goal of today's match number 16 I'm sure he is one of the top scorers throughout this club as well this season he's had a good season actually um, obviously helped by the assist from Kai he just lays it off he probably could have gone for the shot himself uh, but he was unselfish laid it off there for and bade Diagne to score his ninth league goal of the season and we're headed into the final 10 minutes then, guys. Nice little turn there from Kai. Galatas right looking for a fifth here. And here he is. He cuts inside onto his left. He shoots. And that one just wide of the goal. He was looking to bang away a goal at the very, very end of this match. But I think that's going to be his last action of the game. As the boards... Oh, no. The boards do not go up. I thought they were going to go up there. Uh, but 8.5 match rating for Kai. He has been outstanding. Probably man of the match if I'm totally honest as that was just offside there uh, but Galatasaray are going to make a change now and it is going to be Kai who goes off so that is the end of his game much better way to end today's episode with a 4-1 win much better than the way that we started it wasn't it um, early substitutions and of course that red card but we do end with a victory and we are still pressing forward to try and catch Fenerbahce who we actually take on next in the semi-finals of the Turkish Cup but we are still training as you can see and we've just hit 87 overall uh, so leave a like guys if you did like today's episode subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace